we were finally on Mull. Day one, we got up nice and early and headed to the shoreline at Salem Bay. It was busy with heron, common gull, a young herring gull, and the ever present oyster catcher. Great Northern Diver were relaxing on the sound of mold, and red breasted mergans was feeding. This one had caught a crab, which seemed a little bit too big for it to cope with. As we looked back towards the tree line, we could see rock pipit, and I spotted this gorgeous male bullfinch. And then I heard something behind me. Was it my first otter? No common seal, but nice to see. I've seen lots of grey seals over the last few years, but common seals, not so common. So it swam around for a while, just like me, had to make the decision, it was time to go. We've got places to go and lots of wildlife to see. But later that morning we left for Grass Point and got our first sight of Red Deer. As we arrived at our destination, this female stone chap came really close to the car. We sat and watched. And then it was joined by the male. What a stunning bird. Gorgeous. A couple of grey-legged geese were preening in a nearby field. And then in the distance, I spotted a skylark feeding in the grass. I managed to get a little bit closer, and it managed to find some lunch. And it was joined by a song thrush. female chaffinch was busy collecting nesting material, just six feet in front of us. I love watching stuff like this. And a wren surveying its territory. Meadow pipits were everywhere, and this one had found a good vantage point to keep an eye on what was happening. Further along the path, another stone chat. Starlings were busy feeding between the feet of the highland cattle and a pied wagtail that seemed to be enjoying the sun. But we are looking down now onto the water and we've got four or five great northern divers, there's herring gulls, there's a, a great black back gull just flown through which was really nice uh, and there's one or two little pods of uh, guillemots that keep diving under the water which is quite funny because they all sort of line up and then they all disappear under the water one after the other like sort of synchronized divers when they enter the pool it's wonderful um, yeah beautiful spot though it's another little bonus just before we left uh, two red-throated diver flew across and landed uh, in the water just below us. And then a large bird of prey. But it was a buzzard, soaring around, enjoying the afternoon sun. We're getting these at home, but it's still great to watch. So we move on and come across these two oyster catchers, grabbing an afternoon snooze. Why not? We decided to grab some lunch and were joined by a rock pipit. Much better views than this morning. So 
day one was over and it was a steady start. On the way home we got a little bit closer to the red deer. I'm very close to this male. Tomorrow we'd get a better feel for the island. We'd got a tour booked with a local guide. But I wasn't taking the cameras, I was just taking the binoculars and going to enjoy the day. So we'll see you in a couple of days time. Thanks for watching. Up in the drill there. White tail eagle. We got views of it flying in the distance yesterday, but nothing like this.